Hello everyone and Easter greetings from Christ's Church Rye. Today is Tuesday, May 5th. It's Cinco de Mayo and I'm speaking to you today from the buttery. The buttery is a, a room where we meet as a staff and it's a classroom. It's on the second floor hallway and we call it the buttery because of its bright yellow walls but also because the term buttery refers to an underground storage space in a monastery, a larder for food and drink um, from which um, sustenance is provided to guests and to strangers in need. So it seemed like a good spot from which to talk to you about Episcopal Charities. This coming Sunday, Mother's Day, was to be Episcopal Charities Sunday, as it is every year here at Christ's Church, where we take up a special collection and hear a bit about the work of this program, this organization that does so much for those with food insecurity right here in our backyard, supporting food pantries and soup kitchens in Porchester and New Rochelle and so many other places in New York. But they also, um, they offer arts enrichment program, uh, training in, in music and dance and, and drama to students in public schools um, whose arts funding has been cut. And of course, they support Hudson Lane for Higher Education, about which I spoke yesterday. Um, so I thought because today is Giving Tuesday that those of you who might want to make a charitable gift um, might choose Episcopal Charities. And so I'm including um, a, a little QR code you can use with your phone. I tried it earlier. It's super easy. Uh, and also a video today about their ministry uh, in lieu of music. So music will return tomorrow. But I hope I hope you'll take a look at this and perhaps make a gift there their programs are needed so much more today than, than ever before. Um, so today I share with you a prayer I imagine you've heard before. It's a Latin American prayer. O oh God, to those who have hunger, give bread. And to those of us who have bread, give the hunger for justice. Amen. Thank you for watching. God bless you. I know like I had it bad growing up as far as like my birth family. We lived in a homeless shelter and my mom signed us up to go to community day camp. At the time I was five years old and I met Eileen Torres who became like my angel growing up. I went to camp with her every summer we look forward to the summer and just feel the love. We also did her tutoring program. Torres and her family, the Lifting of Westchester family, they gave me everything that my parents couldn't give me. They made sure I didn't give up on school. It was my backbone to graduate. I guess she just knew that like we were good kids and we didn't deserve the life that we were brought into. I knew that I was loved, and I always had a family. When you go to prison with a sixth grade education, your future is pretty uh, dark, to say the least. I was fortunate enough to end up in a place where I was allowed to get a formal education and ended up with a master's degree, and had Selene provided me that opportunity. Education broadens your horizons. It gives you a different vision, not of only the world, but of yourself in the world. So it opens new doors for you, just the, the possibilities. It not only helped me, it helped other people. Because I come back as a citizen, like someone who's part of the community, not an outcast anymore. And education is part of that. I quit school in the eighth grade, and I left home. I'm starting over. Financially, right now, we're struggling. So going to the food pantry helps me fill in those empty spots. I know now that every week I have this extra source to help fill our bellies and not just the food, but the encouragement and guidance and emotional support has made me feel like I'm right where I should be. I belong here and I can, I can do this. 
we, we all works in progress. And some of us just have to do more work than others. It, it, it's this ability to evolve into what we should have always been. We could have just been misfits in the world who just rebelled against everything that someone told us. However, with the love that she gave us, we knew that like we were worthy. I am on the high honors list. I have a 4.0 GPA. Without them, I wouldn't be able to afford school. There's nothing that's gonna stop me. I'm just really grateful that these programs exist. Lifting up Westchester, you know, was like our family. It was just, it was home. Organizations like Hustle Link couldn't exist without funding from organizations like Episcopal Charities.